Well, onto the world of show business now, and an actress who's being hailed as one of our great new talents. Emily Mortimer made her name in the Catherine Cookson drama The Glass Virgin and she starred alongside Sean Bean in ITV Sharp. She's also the daughter of author John Mortimer. On this Friday she opens in her first film The Last of the High Kings. It's set in the 1970s Southern Ireland and tells the story of young love. So, what are you going to do with the rest of your life? I haven't decided. Go to college. Travel, both. How about you? I'm going to Paris for six months. Work part-time, study part-time. Live out all those fantasies of sitting in cafes and reading books. Sounds great. Ah, oh, young love, you see, Emily's with me now. You're the new big thing, we've been told on very good authority. <laughs> I haven't been told about that. But you must feel excited, though, because you're on a bit of a crest of a wave, aren't you? Well, it, yeah, it's been, it's been good. I don't allow myself to get too excited. <laughs> so you're not just sitting back and enjoying the growing success? Well, I, sometimes you're forced to sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> Till I get another job, I will. <laughs> but you didn't take a traditional route into acting, did you? I mean, it no. was Oxford and very much the sort of academic route. So why did you suddenly decide to become an actress? Well, I did. I mean, I'd always done it. I did it at school and um, bored my mum and dad with it. <laughs> acted out adverts on the stairs from an early age, um, and then did it at university. And then an agent happened to come and see me in a in a play there in my last term, and wrote me a letter and took me on. And I thought, well, I'll just do it for an adventure, you know, see what happens. And is it fun? Do and you it like is. It? it is fun. It's nerve wracking, <laughs> but it's it's great fun. And I've I've been to such strange places and met strange and wonderful people. Well, you were saying you used to bore your, your mum and dad, you know, doing adverts on the stairs and stuff. Your dad is, of course, very well known. We're all familiar with his name. Is he proud of you? Oh, yes, he's embarrassingly proud. Is he? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was wondering whether it would be a, you know, a help or a hindrance to have that famous name. Everyone must ask you that. Uh, yes, and I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, I, I don't think it's either, really. I find it in a, in, on a personal level, um, I'm always worried that I'm going to be a disappointment. I'm not going to be as kind of funny as him or as clever as he <laughs> is, or, and people expect you to be. Um, but um, I don't know. I just, I just don't know how it works in, in a professional way. I don't think it really does. I, I imagine it, it probably doesn't, but nonetheless, it's quite nice to have him rooting for you all yes, the way. Yes, exactly. Is it Hollywood next for you? Um, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this film was in Ireland, wasn't it? Come on, is yes. it Los Angeles next? Well, I, I did, I've just, I did a, a, a sort of Hollywood film called The Ghost in the Darkness um, with Val Kilmer at the beginning of this year, and that's coming out next year. But I don't think I, 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 I'm, I'm not brave enough just to sort of go there on spec. <laughs> have to You'll have to brace yourself. Big offer. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us and well, good, thank good luck. thank you for having me. Thanks, Emily. Well, one other showbiz story this lunchtime. Filming for the new Barrymore series has been scrapped for the rest of this year so the troubled comedian can continue his recovery from stress. An LWT spokesman said work on the latest series of Barrymore has now been rescheduled for 1997. The star is still being treated in London's Cromwell Hospital and our good wishes, of course, go to him. Well, time now to catch up with the latest national and international headlines from ITN. Here's Nick Owen. Thanks, Mary. The fiancé of the Worcestershire road rage victim...